like quite annoying and then it's like people you be cool with it's really annoying especially like this it's just annoying And then it's just crazy because, like, people will literally, like, flake on you and play with you. I'm not talking about DDD, by the way. I'm just talking about in general. People will literally flake on you and, you know, give you the runaround, the whole time being cool with you. And then when you start getting successful, oh, my God, congratulations. Oh, this is my sis right here. Oh, she doing? Mm-mm. Mm-mm like save it nobody really be supporting you until you don't need to support no more it's crazy i've experienced that in multiple things in my life Is Landon your neighbor? Um, I don't think so. I don't know who Landon is, so. I was supposed to get my lashes done today too, but I got my hair done. And then I was like, well, I can't lay on my back to get my what happened with the podcast bunny it's still coming out um just whenever she puts it out oh shit he just texted me hold on sorry um okay cool I'm excited because we never have male guests on the podcast so this is only our second male guest and I mean our first guest was cool because you know he supported he was like one of the first I think he was our first guest was the male guest for us I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly but like I think this is gonna be a good guest because a lot of girls like think he's cute you know and like we are a girl podcast so like you know you want to see somebody cute on there whatever i think y'all will like it and he's cool and he's pretty well spoken so hopefully he is during filming as well but we'll see No, y'all, I'm not telling you guys <laughs> until later. <laughs> uh... Y'all, me and Shy were drunk last night during filming. I was talking too much shit. And honestly... And honestly... I'm like, oh my god. I won't be for nobody, but I don't be lying. Where the fuck is my... Get Trisha Paytas on the pod. I doubt Trisha Paytas will come on the pod. I do like Trisha Paytas, but she probably doesn't even know who I am. 
I feel like we're in two different worlds, kind of, um, in different scenes. And yeah, I doubt she would come on, but I do love Trisha Paytas. I think she's hilarious. Somebody said a small measly hint is what you could do. I feel like I gave y'all hints just now. Those were small measly hints. That's all I got on me. And then I'm not gonna, so Trisha Paytas went on that pod with Tana Mongo, Manjo. I'm sorry, I never know how to pronounce her last name. And I'm not gonna lie, I wanted um, us to do like a little collab podcast with Tana and her um, co-host Brooke. And, um, cause they used one of our sounds, like from our podcast episodes and it like, you know, went viral and cool 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 whatever i dm broke no response whatever no sweat don't really give a fuck she don't know me i don't know her and then um her and tana announced their tour i don't know i could be tripping but they announced their tour and it was the simple life theme which is the theme that me and shy have been doing um you know, we did it for Halloween, we did it for the Patreon, like, you know, whatever. And that shit pissed me the fuck off. I'm not gonna lie. What did it piss me off? It annoyed me. Cause I'm like, oh my god. Like we're like a smaller podcast. Someone said I was gonna say they copied it all. Yeah. Um, yeah, that irritated the fuck out of me because we're a smaller podcast, obviously, and they completely took our idea <sighs> so yeah very fucking irritating but whatever um it is what it is so yeah pretty much that shit was annoying and it was even more annoying because paris hilton commented on it and like you know she's like oh my god iconic and i'm like bitch we did it first <laughs> paris paris come over here like it's just i don't know shit like that is like makes you feel like um what is it not like kind of i don't know i don't know i don't know how to explain it and i want to really say but i feel like i don't know it's just that but you know i can't really say shit because i'm i'm mixed race i know i'm white passing whatever but like that's how white people shape sorry i said it i don't give a fuck like, I swear to God, that shit is so fucking irritating, bro. And it's like, I don't know. Just like with stuff like that, I feel like they get so much stuff just like handed to them. And it's mad annoying. But, you know, whatever. Shit like that. I guess just makes you want to... It's just annoying because it's like when you like think something and then you guys like have like a whole thing and like do a whole thing and then somebody's just like, oh, I'll take it. And like, I, it'll be bigger for us because we have a bigger platform. It's annoying. Thank you guys. Somebody's calling me pretty. My favorite compliment. Oh yeah, you had beef with Lilo Tana's friend. Oh, and you know what? I forgot about that too. I forgot that they were friends. Yes, remember I got into the little spat with the trans girl, Lila. And I'm like, you guys are funny. You know, that's very funny to me. And I'm not really laughing whack somebody said you're like our 
our rich friend who lives a good life and we live with the roaches babe i am the roach plot twist I'm actually so happy I bought this. No ad. Hollywood Flawless Filter. Foundation from... What is this? Charlotte Tilbury. I think that's her name. Tisley Tilbury. Fire! Winter, where can I buy your second book? You could buy it on Amazon. Um, both my books are on Amazon. <laughs> sorry, sorry, not Disney. Up. Is that a Russian Manny is actually hilarious because this is my nails cut off. <laughs> Y'all, I had to take my nails off because I had to move my, I had to get a new couch the other day and I thought I was going to have to like be moving stuff. I ended up hiring movers instead, but I was like, okay, let me just cut my nails off. You took the books off of audio. Um, the books never had audio. Unfortunately. I never cared to do that. I just, just too much work, you know. I could have somebody do it in my voice, but I feel like it's just not the same. Oops, I had used the wrong thing. Am I moving? No. I just had to get a new chair, a new um, couch. Baby. What shade are you in the foundation? Four. Medium. Some said I got that pumpkin face mask you posted. And you know what? They need to send me a damn package. Because I knew I was going to get them sales. But I really just didn't want to get cute because it really is good. And they DM me like, oh my gosh, thank you for the love. You're welcome. May I have some free products? <laughs> Fuck. Now why the...
what mask did she use i'm talking about the pumpkin enzyme mask from uh damn i forgot the name of it uh, was it ella hendrickson oh pat mcgrath is pat mcgrath i think that's makeup never mind i don't know i forgot somebody tell her Oh, Peter. Fuck, what was his name? Peter something. Peter fucking something or other, goddammit. Oh, Peter Thomas Roth. What did I say? Pat McGrath? Who the fuck is that? I genuinely have a problem. You know what? I really am upset. Because I had got this lip liner that I loved. And it is gone. I don't know where it went. I don't know where it went. Brittany just said I just finished my prayer. Y'all tell me why this girl is praying that I get pregnant. And I said, please don't. <laughs> I said, please don't. Uh, somebody said, you don't shop at Sephora often? Honestly, no. I don't really buy things often. I like use the same makeup. And now my lip liner that I really liked is gone. Please get married first. First of all, I honestly don't want to do either right now. So I don't know what we're talking about. Alright, let me fix these fucking baby hairs because oh, this is exactly what I did not want to happen. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, bro. Oh, I just got this done today. And I don't really like the baby hairs. And now I just fucked up the whole ponytail. <gasps> no. I'm gonna just have to push it down onto my head. And I'm not even gonna tell you how much this ponytail costs because I was like, okay, that's a little excessive, but it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. If your baby hair brush don't look like this, why does it just look like I have a lazy eye? <laughs> And then also I think my edges were laid with like edge control and <sighs> edge control just makes my edges greasy. Like I need to put like hairspray or mousse with a little hold. I have very fine Caucasian hair so you know. Thanks Malicia. Actually no, I could've, I could've done with a little curl. And it's all about confidence, baby. I think that's what he said. What was that? What are you doing? Get out of there. Don't touch anything in our house. 
my room. Here you, bitch. All right, uh, well. I need to tell Shy. Hurry up. Okay. Damn, I did kind of want you guys to see my outfit though. Couldn't feel like a Okay, I'm gonna get back on in five minutes, y'all. I gotta call Shy. Okay.